Today we would like to present one of the hay resorts in Myanmar. Shan State is in the eastern part of Myanmar. Dangji is the capital of southern Shan State. It is 4,712 feet above the sea level. It is famous for its hay resorts. And it has cool and pleasant weather all the year round. Every visitor can travel to Dangji by air, train, as well as motor car. High standard quality hotels, motels and inns are available for every visitor. So welcome to Downji. If you go to Inlay Lake, you have to pass through Nyangshui region in southern Shan State. It is not a big town but many visitors come to the Nyangshui for the beautiful Inlay Lake and busy Nyangshui market. Nyangshui region has its lovely and friendly traditional market. It is the five day market. All the national races from Nyangshui and Inle regions come to sell their regional products such as rice, corn, and other culinary crops and fishes from Inle Lake. You can also see this activity interestingly in this market. If you visit to Nyangshui, you don't worry to stay like your home. There are many high standard quality hotels, motels and inns. There you will have a nice stay. Your tour in Yamaha is not perfect without visiting Ilay Lake. The best picturesque lake is situated on a mountain and it is at a pleasant 2,900 feet above sea level and it is famous for its lake growers. In a unique wetland environment, whole villages sit on close islands of the lake. Colorful hair tribes and their hand woven six and silver snakes are a specialty of the region. This is Nanban Market, which is similar to the Nyangshui Market. It is 80 years old. All the Shan national races sell the regional product from Inle Lake. All the visitors around the world can come to this market and buy the souvenir for their returns. We're here as tourists. We came to see Yangon and Agaon and in Lay Lake and then we go back to Yangon. We love it. It's beautiful. It's just beautiful. All the people are so pleasant and so nice, but Inlay Lake is very beautiful. Oh, I come from Switzerland, Lausanne. Very nice country with many lakes, like Inlay Lake. Many, many beautiful lakes. No, because this is very beautiful because of the villages and of the people, very nice people. This is the first time for you? In Burma, yes. Uh, here in Inle, uh, scenic beauty. And we come from Pagan also. Very lovely in Pagan also. And Yangon. I hope. I hope, yes. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye-bye.
Myanmar, with rich natural resources and hospitality of the people, welcomes the tourists. There are many natural scenic beauties in Myanmar. The Inner Lake in southern Shan State is one of them. Your tour in Myanmar is not perfect without visiting Inner Lake. The West Victoria Lake is situated on a mountain at a pleasant 2,900 feet above sea level. It is famous for its lake roars. In a unique wetland environment, whole villages sit on float islands of the lake. Colorful hair tribes and their hand-woven sticks and service mates are a specialty of the region. Pondau Bagoda in southern Shan State is very famous and wonder in Inli Lake. There is a one place for a visit after Pandoru Bagoda. It is called Shui Inding Bagoda with many tourist attractions. At the Shui Inding, you can also see the lifestyle of simple and open hearted national races. If you visit to the Inlay region, I want to tell you one interesting place. It is Shui Inde Ancient Pagoda. It is the most ancient pagoda in Myanmar, and there are 1,045 ancient zedi. The pagoda was built by Kien Thi Dama Toga 200 years after the demise of Lord Buddha Gautama, enshrining his relics. Shui Inde Pagoda is the original sacred place where Lord Buddha's images of Pandoru Pagoda were kept before. You can also see the interesting souvenir shops along the stairway. The stairway to the platform of Shui Indian Pagoda is built with 403 grand pillars in their original artistic work. After visiting and viewing the ancient cultural arts at Shui Inde, you can also have a rest for a while at Kalo, one of the hill resorts. Kalo, Pan City, is existing at 4,300 feet above the sea level. It is 63 miles by train and also 60 miles by car from Tazi. In March and April, Kalo is a temporary zone and it is cold and pleasant in January and February. Hotels, motels and inns are ready for visitors in Kalor region. After visiting Tangji and Inle, you should visit to Pindia region. It is situated at 3,880 feet above sea level and there is a well-known rocky cave known as uh, Pindia Cave uh, with numerous ancient Buddha images. Local and foreign visitors always come to this key. Bindia Golden Cave is situated one mile in the west of Bindia. There are numerous Buddha images everywhere in this rocky cave. Metro Stellatite and Stellamite are one of the attractions of this cave. Other remarkable places in Bindaya are Bodolo Lake and various subbanyan trees which are the owner of the city. The 
they are available for Western relaxed your weary mind in high standard quality hotels. That's why we invite you to pay a visit to the second chance day where natural beauties will attract you.